Hello everybody, Dokkan Assets here. Today we are back with a, another figure news video. I apologize that this video did not go up yesterday, but I was just busy with a bunch of stuff during the day, getting ready for Christmas and all that good stuff. As well, there were some developing things in the world of figures that I just wanted to make sure were complete by the time of the recording of this video. We do have quite a lot to cover today so let's not dilly dally and get into it of course as per usual we are starting on dbzfigures.com and then we will be heading over to the boy baggies twitter 100% go check out both of them in the description below the boys over at dbz figures always holding it down with the professional updates and baggy giving us the play-by-play -play info 24 7 good good stuff let's go ahead and hop into it here first of all <clears throat> we have the dragon ball legends ssb goku and super saiyan bardock this month's dragon ball legends release is super saiyan blue goku and super saiyan bardock uh titled the lower rank warriors at full power no pre-orders yet but we'll update when big bad toy store announces these figures Kind of unfortunate that we're getting a, another Super Saiyan Blue Goku figure. But we can always use more Bardock figures. The only thing that kind of stinks is that this is not the exact same, but very similar to a Bardock pose that we already have that was in the Super Attacks line. But this is still pretty cool because it looks like he's about to whip the Key Blast. Uh, we did also have the release of the Super Dragon Ball Heroes Ichiban Kuji with the King Cluster Broly, as well as the God Trunks New Gogeta, New Rose, the repaint of the MUI Goku, and the last one, Dark Broly. Um, we will be seeing some pictures of these guys and some size comparisons later. They are crazy crazy big um unfortunately um these guys did not get pre-orders available um for the west you can see that funny enough rose is actually here on this big bad toy store um pre-order page but they actually uh did not have pre-orders go up for these particular figures that more so relate to dragon ball heroes themselves uh because they did not get a overseas release i don't even see any of them here i think this is organized by like the way that they want to promote it but nonetheless though the other guys did so if you want to get these figures these three um the burlies and the trunks you're gonna have to import them unfortunately moving on to the next page baby we're trucking right along today so let's start from the bottom and go up this is a fantastic deal ladies and gentlemen as you can see and unfortunately it's already ended but this does bode well for something so I, i'll i'll talk about it anyway if you collect figure arts your line of figures and have purchased this product it's a good time because bluefin is having a sale for 50 percent off uh it retails for 90 and through the november of the 20th they're running sales on many of their figures in conjunction with anime myc i should have taking a look at that yeah as you can see the full retail price um is 90 bucks on that um with bluefin now even though obviously um some of those deals have gone away there are still some black friday deals on the official bluefin website bluefin by the way is the company that brings a lot of the sh figure arts and bandai figures over here to the states they are the people who bring them overseas localize them whatever you want to call it so it's always cool to see their name popping up in the news um but even though though that's not on sale anymore what it does show is that it is possible for these figures to go on sale from official retailers because it isn't very often when that happens especially with stuff like figuarts and figuarts zero white which is usually a pretty pricey uh figure line both of them so it's cool to see that even these kind of figures can get some sales. Um, even for 90 bucks, this figure is 100% worth it. I'll leave the link to the video that I actually did on this figure because I have uh, reviewed this guy before. And let me tell you, oh my gosh, this is one of my favorite figures in my collection. It's so, so good. Anyway, moving on from the homie cooler. Oh, that shot is so clean. Whoever took that deserves a medal, bro. We have a bunch of new Sophobi figures. Oh boy, I'm so excited. To start off, we have Rosé. 
Plex, the makers of the Retro Sophobi Collection, a miniature, so, well, miniature, soft vinyl figures released a series of figures, and the first is Rose Goku Black. A while back, they released a base form black as well as a rose form black, but this version includes key weapons. Version A has a scythe, and version B has a blade. Both will retail for 10,000 yen, roughly 100 bucks, and will release in April of 2021. And obviously the update when Big Bad Toy Store gets this figure. Again, y'all should know if you've watched this series that I'm not really a big fan of these figures. It's not really my style. It kind of looks like if they took Dragon Ball Adverge. Adverge? Why did I say that like that? Dragon Ball Adverge and made it look stinky. <laughs> it just kind of looks like if they made Dragon Ball Adverge worse. Though I will say, the coloring on the hair here is very nice that I can definitely give them and uh, by the way as you can kind of tell the arms are a little bit articulated I need to get one of these at some point just to review it I don't know this Rose's face he just looks kind of dopey you know what I mean um, but these figures are usually pretty tall I believe they're like a foot tall something like that um, it looks like they have also uh, <laughs> taken a liking to Majin Vegeta because as you can see um, we have one here that will also be a hundred bucks that will be coming out in april 2021 as well um again not my style this one kind of looks a little bit better i do like the detailing i will say on the veins though but he looks like he's like trying to grin his teeth and faking a picture it does also look like there's a mid cut where you can turn the figure that's interesting i don't think i've seen that on a sophobi figure before unless i just haven't looked at them in that much detail and then we also do have a super saiyan blue Vegeta. Apparently, this is Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta evolved. The last new figure, basically uh, a Super Saiyan 2 version of the blue form that Vegeta has achieved thus far. Blah blah blah. Hundred bucks. Yeah, I don't really see the blue evolution in here. I, I guess literally just the eyes. I don't know. It's so weird because I actually, funny enough, own a Dragon Ball figure that is a Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, and I didn't even realize it was a Blue Evolution Vegeta, and I thought that the eyes looked really cool, but I was so confused because the hair looked like normal Super Saiyan Blue, and funny enough, in my actual video that I did of that figure, I'll also link that in the description below, um, I called it regular Super Saiyan Blue because, like, they don't do the hair justice. Like, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta Evolved has that royal blue hair color. And I don't know why the merch just kind of gives it a little bit more shading with a closer color to regular Super Saiyan. Kind of weird to me. Doesn't his face look kind of smushed in here? It looks so awkward at this angle. I do like the shading throughout, though. I'll have to get one of these at some point, if they ever come out with one that looks good. Ayo! <laughs> anyway, moving on, uh, do we have anything in this tab? I believe not. This was just, ah, the official Dragon Ball Weekly News. Um, ooh, they did show figures for MUI Goku. Interesting. You can't hear this, so you don't get hit with that copyright claim. Um, but basically, this was just talking about everything um, that was coming out recently in the world of Dragon Ball, uh, with all the hero stuff and all that but um we obviously did have the uh ui goku and the mui goku release um which was very exciting as you can see our boy victory man uh v jump man is holding it right there um these figures do look really really good and we're actually going to take a look at later um i talked about in the last video there's also the chrome version of this guy which i would love to pick up but he is kind of rare unfortunately so nothing too big there oh boy this was interesting <laughs> so uh we did have the dragon ball gt world collectible figure volume three um this set uh released in japan on the 26th we did i believe see some in-person uh pictures of this unless i'm confusing this with the last line i don't know the gt stuff all kind of blends the same i still think that the baby statues are the ones that look the best in this one but hey if you like gt then there you go we did have the bos gogeta um this guy is the second amusement figure for november um and i have he also obviously comes from the original DBZ movie. Sorry, I don't know why I was like, up there, up there. But he comes from the original DBZ movie, Fusion Reborn. I have pre-ordered this figure, so I will do a review on it eventually. Very, very cool, because there's not, like, 
There's, I feel like there's not enough dynamic Gogeta figures, especially ones that are in the air. Obviously, like we just took a look at, these guys came out with the anniversary, Goku and Vegeta. I don't think that the West will actually be getting these because it doesn't really seem like that they've been doing too much Dragon Ball Hero stuff lately. And uh, yeah, kind of unfortunate for people who would have wanted these because the sculpt on it is really, really good. This is very very exciting so last time we talked about that we had some teasers for a gigantic series goku and gohan and we will also see some images on baggy's twitter as well we actually have it confirmed now x plus introduced a new figure into their gigantic series line featuring son goku and son gohan i noticed this item two weeks ago and made a guess of what this figure would look like he did do that i remember we covered it and booyah i guessed right <laughs> That's funny. It is Goku holding baby Gohan in his arms. This is the second release now uh, from the Gigantic series line featuring two characters. And if they continue this trend, I really hope they do one with Vegeta and Trunks in the Boo Saga. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. There's only one figure of that right now where he hugs him. I have this figure from Bam Presto's Dramatic Showcase. That's, I forgot the name of it. Thank you. But this would look great as a Gigantic series figure. I can agree with that. Goku and Baby Gohan will release in May of 2021 for a price of 16,500 yen. And they will update when the price goes up. I think that this look figure, this look figure, wow. This figure it looks really really good this angle does look kind of a little bit weird it just looks like his neck is a little bit stretched there but i think this figure looks fantastic there are some things about it that are a little bit off-putting for me it's sort of just things that the gigantic series does um all things considered but it looks really good the detail on this is really good looking i believe that this maybe a resin statue that's kind of what the material looks like to me um if i had to take a wild guess with just how the shading and how everything falls together but i might actually pick this figure up i don't have anything from the gigantic series line and this looks very high quality you can see the tail is very detailed the dragon ball and gohan's head is very clear gohan's face is probably the star of the show goku's face looks like it's a little bit weird like the hair kind of looks a little bit awkward in the front but man gohan looks perfect I really, really like it. The indented eyes are also an interesting choice. But yeah, this figure looks really, really good. I'm very excited that we are going to be getting a figure of this pose at all. And we'll see more pictures of it when we go through more Baggies tweets. So let's go ahead and continue here. Um, Baggy was just talking about how um, you could vote for these stickers. I know he my man I appreciate that he is sharing his opinions and is very vocal about them um, These two are released this year. So basically um, it was just voting on um, new characters for the sticker line is essentially what was going on here um, and what people in Japan could choose for. Also, this was really, really cool. The high quality pick of this month's Sun Family Christmas Secret Rare. Um, obviously, since this is such a small sticker, right? It's kind of hard to get like a true high quality version, but this is such a cool sticker. I would absolutely love to own that in person. Also, um, it looks like that these are actually all of the stickers uh, to vote from. Um, this was basically just, you know, I believe what character, um, would get made into a sticker next from the, the, the G, the new G sticker, as you can see. That reminds me of that one parody with a G, 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 G cell. <laughs> as you can see, there's a bunch of different stuff here. A lot of this artwork is super cool, and obviously some of it has been used for all oh, Xeno Super Saiyan 3. So good such good stuff here as well um as you can see here here when participating in the g rare project right sponsored by bandai uh following please read the notes right so it's just telling you about um how you can participate and whatnot click on the sticker you want to vote for hmm who should we vote for well baggy uh judge my decision <laughs> if i vote super saiyan 3 xeno goku because i know he doesn't like heroes Ooh, bardock is pretty sick though uh dang these all look really good i don't really know what i would choose oh Oh, that's so tempting. Even the Jiren is so good. We won't waste too much time on this. Is that the same UI Goku? I guess it is. Interesting. I'm so tempted to vote for Super Saiyan 3 Goku because I really... You know what? Yeah, that's what I'm voting for. There you go. So as you can see here... Oh, interesting. So it tells you um, when the sticker was actually released. Interesting. So I believe this is just, again, like I said, you're voting for the sticker to get um, a re-release. <laughs> Jiren? <laughs> That's so funny. I like that a lot. My vote's not really going to matter, obviously, but hey, we're putting it in, boys. <laughs> I'll even tweet it out. Sure, why not? 
<laughs> all right anyway moving on from that uh so this was actually crazy um all of the characters i don't remember if i talked about this in the last figure news video or not but all of the pre-orders for the um i catch goku and not only that but the tn the yamcha and the piccolo have all been sold out on amazon us which is insane that means that this line is super popular and i hope what that also means is that oh yeah this is another high quality picture of piccolo what i hope that that means is that bandai will take a look at this and see like hey maybe you know they care more about just another super saiyan goku figure <laughs> because obviously these figures are a lot different than what we usually get and that is what dragon ball fans love to see especially a lot of people who have been collecting for a while it's always good to get something a little bit different moving on from that this was pretty crazy wow looks like the legends collab wcf volume 3 already completely sold out from game stations not uh coming up on the stores search anymore implying no more stores have stock they said higher orders than the gt wcf by the way so it looks like the stores made the correct decision interesting baggy also makes another note about that yeah later oh my gosh okay so this is pretty cool bro um i really really like this gogeta figure i have to say I don't think he's worth the price, like Baggy's going to note in a second here, but this is the Grandista Nero Super Saiyan Gogeta, basically a form change of the original Gogeta. Here's a height comparison with the Nero Super Saiyan 3 uh, Goku, basically just a little bit higher than Goku. Looks good, though, I will say. Um, I'm a huge fan of the original Grandista Gogeta, and obviously the Nero line is just taking Grandista figures and changing them into a different form. I like the little bit of the pose that they did with the hand. Obviously, it is literally just the hand raising up compared to Gogeta's other hand just being down. But I do like that smirk. I do like that smirk a lot, and I do think that the face looks pretty good. I think that that screams Gogeta. Um, and also, that is very good to know. I did not even see that comment there. Um, apparently, the legs are actually solid now. So, if you guys remember, with the original Grandista Gogeta, it was a huge problem because the legs were hollow. And what that means is not only is the figure not as sturdy in the long term, but it also won't support the weight of the higher part as long. There was also some seam lines on the side, all kinds of different stuff. So very cool to see that they actually did listen to people on that. If, if that was a thing that happened because of that, I'm not too sure. But regardless, still cool that they did it. Shading and coloring is nice. Apparently it's solid, even though not sure it's worth paying the double the price at $45. Yeah, so that is the really unfortunate thing about the Nero line. I don't know why. Why Bandai can think that they can get away with this, I guess because it's Bandai, but <clears throat> basically everything in the Nero line is a lot more expensive than the original version of the figure, which in some cases like Super Saiyan 3 Goku, that would make sense because you're getting an entire hair piece with this man and you're also getting the halo. But with this Gogeta, it's literally like a different head and a different arm, right? Obviously the solid legs is a big contributor too, but 45 bucks instead of 20 for the original blue one that's crazy if you can find this guy for a good price i would highly recommend it if i can find this guy for a good price i will probably get him i got my super saiyan 3 goku for like 26 bucks and that review is coming by the way and i think that that was worth it so and my original um base vegeta as well that is also part of the near line was only like 20 bucks too all right so we have some final picks of the bardock and the goku very interesting lighting choice here yeah goku don't look that good i'm gonna be honest his face looks super squished here and it looks very bad there um bardock uh, yeah, yeah oh wow <laughs> i am glad that i did not pre-order that holy cow wow that is awful I wanted to get this because I actually prefer the pose a little bit more than the Super Saiyan Bardock figure that I currently have. But, uh, those eyes are real far apart, and that's a lot of white paint in the mouth. It looks like he has, like, two rows of teeth or something like that. His teeth are mega thick. Yikes. Hopefully nobody buys these because they are not that good. That is a pretty big yikes. Oh, all right. Here are some high quality picks of the Grandista Nero Gogeta. Again, whoo! Oh no! More than a few people now reporting, and unfortunately, yes, I guess that changed it. No! 
Oh, I was so excited mid-news video. Well, I'm sorry. Apparently, it is hollow. Dang, that is kind of unfortunate. Well, that makes the price even less make sense. What? <laughs> anyway, though, I think that the face looks absolutely fantastic, especially from this angle. Wow, that is really cool. It would be awesome to be able to put some kind of attack in Gogeta's hand. Like, you know how the... Um, the Figure Art Zero Gogeta has the, the Soul Punisher to make like a little rainbow ball like that and stick it in his hand. That would be pretty sick. If you can find this guy for a good price, I would definitely recommend the cop. This is a fantastic looking figure. All right. More high quality picks of Yamcha. Um, oh yeah, so I believe as well. Ooh, that back actually looks super fantastic. I love the way that his hair is sculpted. Again, I'm not too sure about the face, even though it is pretty manga accurate. But the more I look at it, the more I like it. I don't know. Whew! So uh, I believe we heard a teaser about this last time. These are some uh, new Bardock and Broly plushies. Yeah. <laughs> I don't got too much to comment. Bardock definitely looks a little bit better. He looks more like a concerned parent than like his whole planet is about to explode. <laughs> the felt armor, at least that looks like felt, looks like it's one flat piece, which is kind of annoying. And this literally looks like it was just stuck on there as an afterthought. And uh, that also, whatever that's supposed to be, doesn't look good. And the scar doesn't even look like it's attached. Broly's body doesn't look natural. Ah, I don't know, bro. These do not look that good. There's some other really good plushes um, out there of Dragon Ball stuff. I even own some of them. Um, I own the... This is an 8-inch plush? That is pretty big. I didn't realize they were that big. Holy cow. Okay, interesting. Ah, yeah. So this was kind of funny. So um, this is a the uh, like the chrome version or the monotone version of the Goku figure that we were looking at before. I really want to get this, but not as many of these um, were made before. And it's kind of funny. But we'll we'll see later when uh, Baggy shows the packaging in another figure or in another figure in another photo rather. But this art piece that was used to promo this Goku wasn't used on the box, which is so weird because the box is like I don't want to say simplistic. Because it's not simplistic in a good way. It's like, looks unofficial, almost. I don't know why they just didn't use that, because that's a great render. Uh, new turn into power Goku art. Here is uh, some more pictures. Ooh, we have a side-by-side -side comparison. Holy cow, okay. Interesting. So it looks like, comparatively, is this other picture? Okay, so it's just a close-up. I can see that the... Um, the sh or the shading the uh, the pixel quality of the picture thank you brain of the um image is a little bit stinky but the shading on this gogeta is a lot more he looks like tan on his face almost like there is no shading on the skin of this one but there is a ton of shading on the skin of this gogeta like look at the shading between the abs and the chest and especially in the arms like the muscle definition is so good with all that shading it's a little bit interesting it kind of looks like they dirtied up the parts of the coat there interesting his pants and legs also look a little bit more shaded weird that he's like literally tan though i do like the darker undertones on the super saiyan even though i think it's a bit much i assume that you could probably change the heads of these gogetas and what i would actually love to see is that if someone could make a custom of like the blue gogeta smiling so like if you could paint this gogeta head with these colors i think that that would be really interesting also, it kind of looks like there's a lot more lines throughout the hair on this Gogeta, and it's a lot more simplistic in this one. Very interesting. I'll have to see if I can get my hands on this Gogeta, because it's intriguing me more and more now. Next month's Nero UI Omen has a uh, SRP of $42 in the US, and the Grandista re-release has a $25 price tag. So essentially that means that the blue shirt is for 17 extra dollars. Yeah, no, not a good deal at all. Yeah, so this is another figure that is in the Nero line. And they're charging 42 bucks for this, which is ridiculous because the original MUI Goku figure, which is so good, by the way, is only 20 bucks. And that's one of my favorite Dragon Ball figures that I own. And it's so good. 42 bucks for that is pretty ridiculous. I would like to pick this guy up again if I could get him for a better price. I would love that. I do like collecting the Grandista line. It is one of the only lines that I kind of go out of my way to like get anything from them because the line is just so good. In my opinion, I really, really like it. But yeah, that price tag is a little bit uh, 
not good, unfortunately. Also, this is a pretty good figure. I've done a, re uh, a review of this guy a fat, fat, fat minute ago. Um, but this is a pretty nice Goku Black figure, all things considered. 25 bucks um, ain't so bad for the price of that man. Here are some more pictures of the Piccolo here. Again, I love, love, love the detail that they put into this guy. So good with the arms. Ugh. Oh. I really hope that they continue doing more Piccolo figures, because if they do, it'll be really cool to see what they do with the arms, and again, it would be also great to get a manga version of Piccolo as well with the yellow, that would be a really cool option, or maybe like a good last one figure, something like that. Confirmed March Blue Gi Quinton and Final Flash Vegeta um, as a BSS release for Asia. Interesting. Will be made in Vietnam. Interesting, interesting. This figure is really good, by the way. I also believe... I don't know, actually. Now that I think about it, did I do a review for the original orange one, or is that just in the vault? I'm not too sure, but this figure is really good. We don't often get figures with Keen Thulun either, and obviously this outfit for Goku is sorely underrepresented. And also, weirdly enough, we don't have that many Final Flash Vegeta figures either, and this is also another figure that I've done a video on and I own, so... Very, very good figure here. I like this one a lot. I love the line detail. It's very cool up close as well. Europe confirmed. Let's go. Let's go, Europe. <laughs> All right. So, Master Live, Master Live. Wow. Master Live's Amolving Europe is getting Chaozu. Interesting. So, here we have some better pictures of Chaozu. I absolutely love what they did with this guy. Back of Chaozu. I like that they even just put some minimal detail on this because they really didn't have to. But I, I like it. I like it a lot. They're doing a good job with this sort of stuff. Chaozu actually sums up the weird overseas releases up. No standard overseas release for Asia. None of the figures have. By the way, when we say that, we mean other Asian countries outside of Japan. No standard overseas release in US despite the others, but a standard overseas release for Europe. Interesting. Wonder why. It's such an odd decision. I know later, Baggy also mentioned something along the lines of that the, <laughs> the prize figure overseas releases are getting very confusing, so we'll cover that in a little bit. But very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, I will be keen to see if maybe we somehow get Chaozu. By this point, we should have had it uh, announced if we were going to, so it's highly unlikely. But I will say for us in the US, this is a good thing that Europe is getting it because then that will mean that the figure will be more widely available and it will probably be a little bit easier to get it imported, all things considered. Maybe I'll even make like a Amazon of Europe account or something to try and get it. Ozaru Vegeta is now releasing in Asia. Originally, I wasn't too interested in this figure, but I kind of want to get this now because I would love to do a display with the Omnibus uh vegeta i almost said gogeta the omnibus vegeta right like the giant great ape and then this one in the middle and then the vegeta with a battle damage armor from the wc or wcf sorry the world figure coliseum rather that'd be sick very cool okay so this is nuts bro so here's an irl pick of dark broly he looks pretty good um we will see an irl pick of the super saiyan 4 broly a little bit later um but i think that the detail on this figure is really good i will say his face doesn't look a little bit too flat which is kind of weird all things considered but definitely not a bad figure um also this looks kind of a little bit like it's not that jutted out but i guess you'd have to see a little bit close up all things considered though i think i've said that like three times now. i'm sorry very very good detail overall the fur looks great the rips and tears on pants on pants wow <laughs> on pant on broly's pants and cloak looks really really good and this is nuts to me so as you can see this is a size comparison to the original King Cluster Broly, which is another figure that I've also reviewed on my channel. Love that figure. I look at it literally every day before I go to sleep. And funny enough, also this figure, the Manga Dimension Super Saiyan 4 um, Goku from Super Master Star's piece. This should just go to show you that this Broly is huge. I will also leave a link in the description to this review. I swear I'm not trying to plug <laughs> all of my past reviews, but it just turns out that, you know, it's just working out really well this way in terms of, you know, I've reviewed all these figures before. But for real though, if you'd like to see a size comparison to some other figures, um, that is a good video to do it. But this guy is huge. This guy, like my whole hand, like barely fits around his waist. Which is crazy to see that Dark Broly is that big. So, um, by the way, it may or may not have gotten the regular Super Saiyan 4 Broly. So, that review may also be coming soon. We'll see. We'll see. 
for once. Glad we ain't getting the last one. The smaller eyes makes Gohan's face look too weird, and the A version face looks more tanned too. One time or the last one version it might be worse. Yeah, I think that personally for me, I think we did comment on this image a little bit in the last video. I seem to be bringing that from the recesses of my mind. I like Gohan's face a lot more on the regular one, but I like Goku's coloring a little bit more on the last one version. So kind of interesting. You can see here a little bit of Goku cutting in the darker orange um, on this one. I kind of like the lighter gi color there, but Gohan's face is definitely a lot better on the regular one. I can 100% agree with that. April prize figures getting revealed in one week. <laughs> Bro, not that excited. Unfortunate. I'll probably get them all in one image uh, uh, this time, so we'll have a full schedule. Okay, so this stuff um, is something we've taken a look at before, and we will actually see images of this coming up a little bit later. So, <clears throat> before we get to that, though, here is the December UDM Burst 45 color. It is crazy that we have had 45 of these already. That UI Omen Goku for a UDM figure is not that bad, all things considered. I know the UDM line is a little bit weird because obviously it's sort of stylized. I mean, it's literally called, um, oh no, what does UDM stand for? It's, um... Uh, ultimate deformed mascot, which kind of makes sense. Well, I mean, Bulma's face kind of looks deformed a little bit, I'm not going to lie. But it makes sense because obviously it's putting these figures in this weird minifigure style. So, all things considered, though, I don't think UI Omen looks too bad. He does look very weird in the facial area, but pretty good hair sculpt, I think. And that Super Saiyan Bardock figure is actually really good. I really wish that these were a lot more accessible to the US, because the unfortunate thing is you basically either have to have a site that sells these and have like a proxy service, or you have to go on eBay and pay for one individually overpriced, or you have to pay for the whole set if you only want one of them. So I don't know. Uh, definitely get which what you want, though, if you are going to intend on picking this up. It is always cool, though, seeing some characters a little bit underrepresented with the boy Super 13. Or, actually, not Super 13. Regular 13. There, sorry. All right. Unfortunately, no high-quality image of the 10th anniversary UI figures. Still can't get over the lame packaging. Yeah, so we're going to take a look at this. So... As you can see here, um, these are the three versions of this guy, all compared side by side. If I am going to get this figure, um, I will do my very best to be able to get this version. Which is kind of funny, because, like, it's so weird, because... These, like, off colors, because they've done weird, like, colors of, like, one color of a figure before. They did that with a FBS uh, Golden Goku. It looks kind of weird, because it doesn't show, like, the... The, I don't want to say the character properly because it, it looks more like a statue than a figure, which is so like dumb to say because that's not accurate at all. But I think you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. I, like it doesn't represent the character as well. It doesn't feel like it's the character. It feels like it's a statue of the character when it's kind of like more one-ish color like this. But I really like the look of this. I don't know. Something about it is so appealing for me. And yeah, here's the box. This is what Baggy was talking about. This packaging is so lame. Like, it literally looks like they took one picture of the figure, and they were like, hey, we need some art for the box. All right, here you go. Wait, that's it? Yep, that's what you got to work with. All right. I don't know why they didn't put that Goku art on there that we took to look at before. Even this angle of the figure would have been better. That angle is super sick. Holy cow. I really like that. I don't know. The more I look at these figures, the more I like uh, between the Omen and the MUI. I like the MUI version a lot more. I think that it just kind of pops out and it fits the figure a little bit more. Um, also, something with the black eyebrows kind of makes the face look a little bit less good, I guess, if that makes sense. I don't know. Kind of weird on that one. All right. We're still not done with March Kuji information, believe it or not. We're still waiting on the estimated packaging sizes. Interesting. Okay. And here is the boy out of the box with the in-between. I, I like to call this the in-between transformation of Zara Vegeta because it's not like when he's fully monkey, right? It's kind of like halfway. It looks really good, though, I will say. I do like the detailing on the pants. The face looks nice as well. And that mouth looks absolutely horrifying. I love it. And the box looks pretty cool considering that it's obviously referencing the moon. And that's also a blood moon, which is pretty cool. Um, Creator X Creator is actually what this figure is from in terms of the line, which is kind of surprising because that line has been a little bit disappointing lately. Here's the packaging for the November Kuji. As you can see, um, I know it's a little bit hard to tell with the scale, but those Broly boxes are absolutely humongous. Um, and especially compared to these like normal sized Kuji boxes, it's crazy. I really hope I can get my hands on Dark Broly though. Um, at some point, I did actually get this figure and also got Trunks. Um, if you're watching the video, you'll get a little sneak peek to upcoming videos. But 
looks good nonetheless. Um, here's high quality images of these guys. I don't need to look at this um, too often or too often for too long here. As you can see, there's even higher quality pictures. Let me just kind of show you what I mean with the face. Doesn't it, the face look a little bit weirder with the black eyebrows or is it just me? Definitely let me know in the comment section below. I feel like the white eyebrows works a little bit better. Also, did they... The eyes look the same. I vaguely remember there being a little bit of a difference between the eyes of Omen and Master Old Ninja Link, but I could just be tripping. Nonetheless, though, the detail on this figure is great. I love the detail on the boots. I'm a big fan of the Revival of F style of boots. Um, this gi also is really cool from Dragon Ball Heroes, and I love the way that the OB flows. Very, very nice. The hair sculpt is also cool, too. I'll probably get the Master Doll Instinct version of this guy, all things considered. Um, why do I keep saying that in this video? That's like my catchphrase <laughs> for this. Here are some of the smaller Ichiban Kuji prize figures. Um, let's take a look at what we've got here. Um, ooh, okay, this is Japanese Makari. Interesting. Can we click on this and make it big? Cool. This art is really good, by the way. Um, I did win some of this art. Um, I'm not exactly sure which ones, but I did win some of this art um, in the listing that I actually um, won the Broly and the um, Vegeta trunks from. And there's a lot of great stuff in this one. These are some of the towels from this set. Interesting that this one, even though it's Dragon Ball Heroes themed, the towels aren't really Dragon Ball Heroes. This is obviously Father, Son, Kamehameha. This looks like Rosé. Yeah, definitely, because it's pink, and I think I see a Pantari ring in there. And this is obviously just Gogeta. So kind of interesting that they didn't really go for it um, with the towels as a Dragon Ball Heroes theme. Kind of interesting. Here is some of the clear files, as you can see. Very interesting hollow pattern. It almost looks bootleg, I'm going to be honest. Like, this looks like a hollow pattern that some bootleg trading cards that i've seen use kind of interesting i do think that the renders of the characters look pretty good vegito does look a little bit weird and gogeta looks a tiny bit off but i think that super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta look pretty good but that is really interesting i do like the effect though even though like even though it does remind me of bootleg trading cards i don't think it looks bad let me let me make that clear interesting that they also just did regular versions of these guys not the actual dragon ball heroes ones because they could just like take the heroes logo off and just put a normal dragon ball logo on that why would they not just do heroes versions i don't know these are also super super cool so by the way uh to make sure that you're clear on what this is right um these ones i believe um are little art boards but these are also shikachi interesting these must be oh no they are both shikachi art boards i'm literally confusing myself and i knew what was correct originally small brain sorry these ones are the towels these ones are the clear files, and then these images that we looked at are also more of these Shikachi artboards um, here. Let me also just open this in a new tab because I don't know which one was the correct one. These are also really, really cool. I love the way that they designed the hollow pattern. It kind of looks like how they did on the clear files as well, and the art on some of these as well, besides the one that we looked at, is also really, really good. Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta looks absolutely fantastic. Vegeta, Vegito. I meant to say Vegito. I know who it is. Oh, no, bro, I'm going to get exposed. <laughs> I would love to get the Mass Saiyan as well at some point, because the Mass Saiyan in the set is really good too. And here is a look at all of the different art pieces. This is actually what I really wanted to look at. Oh, well, I guess I won't let us zoom in that well. There we go. I know it's a little bit crusty, but all these arts look really, really good, I think. Um, if I had to pick one that I probably like the least, I guess I'd say Super Saiyan uh, 4 Dark Broly. His face looks a little bit scrunched. Gogeta's face also looks a little bit funny, but it's also supposed to be like a motion shot. So, But I think, um, you know, especially the Gogeta, the Vegito here, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito, and Mass Saiyan all look absolutely fantastic. So I'll have to see what I get um, in the order that I got. Moving on, final merch haul of the year. Oh, this is Baggy's merch haul. I see, I see. Okay. He was just posting a bunch of his scans and stuff like that. Uh, for those that want to import, the Broly and Trunks might be okay since 2 per store and 20 centimeters. But Broly's, uh, since it's 30 centimeters, expected to be a lot, especially since not main series. So lots of, so lots may be slow to be clear. I'm, let me reread this. I'm literally having. <laughs> Bro, I'm having trouble today. I don't know why. I'm sorry. Two per store and 20 centimeters, but Broly's 30 expected it to be a lot, especially since not main series, so lots may be slow to be clear. Okay, you know what? I think I think Baggy was the one who was tripping on that one. I'm going to be honest. He was just talking about the drop in prices on these figures, as you can see. All right, moving on. Moving on. Here are some final pictures of the Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Um, not 
a bad Goku Black figure, all things considered. It's okay, um, in my opinion. The face is a little bit weird looking. It's okay. I don't think it's anything to write home about. There's not too much shading on it either, which is kind of weird. Here is the high grade set, colored number, or not number 12. This would be December, I believe. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So they're doing Super Saiyan Vegeta, base Vegeta, trunks with a hairstyle that we barely ever see. Hmm. And the android. So I guess it's kind of future trunks themed. Very interesting. The high grade line um, is sort of known for not being that high grade. So we'll see how the actual figures end up. But that trunks actually looks pretty cool. We don't get that hairstyle too often. Fuji TV limited badges. Interesting. And limited stands. These are obviously um, only available in Japan. These acrylic stands are also more of a more popular thing in Japan. The West doesn't really do these too often but these are pretty good uh for little mini art things oh boy all right so let's take a look at this bro the buddy o omochala headchala he is a uh, great person in the figure community does not hold back on describing how truly awful this bardock figure is so basically <laughs> basically so bad it can't be evaluated yeah that is just about as bad as the original face that we saw Look at those eyes, bro. They're so far apart. It looks ugly from any angle in eight directions. Feels like you're watching the pitching form of a comedian with bad motor skills. The reason will be described later. However, it is not recommended as a ornamental figure at all. It's a dish that makes you feel so weak that it doesn't matter if it's similar or not. My conclusion, an unevaluable figure. Wow. Obviously, some of that translation was a little bit botched because it was from Google Translate, but... That is nuts. This man, for some context, has been reviewing figures for a long time. He's reviewed basically almost every Dragon Ball figure that's come out in the last couple of years. Holy cow, bro. That is crazy. On the box, it looks so good. And then you open her up. Yeah, I see what he means. This angle looks all right. All right. Not good. Oh, man. That, you see, that angle looks all right. <laughs> Ooh, even the hair looks a little bit odd there. Yeah, no, I, I see what he means. I can definitely see what my man means. That is a uh, pretty, pretty stinky looking figure, if I do have to say so myself. Oh, okay, interesting. So he's comparing it to the, I think this is a, um, what did they, what they called uh, the World Figure Coliseum before was the World Coliseum. I think it was called the Budokai... Tenkaichi, which is obviously a reference to the World Tournament, but regardless, comparing this figure to this one as a similar pose. Wow. That is crazy. Interesting. Oh, and he, he's even comparing it to, like, pitching and the way that the figure should be oriented. I see. Okay. So he's just kind of describing it. Wow. Look at that bulging. That is disgusting. Wow. His hand looks like it looks like a cartoon hand. Like, I know it's like an anime, but like, huh. Yeah, and he's also saying that it shouldn't be facing that way because it doesn't really make sense. It should be facing how that Bardock is facing. Wow. Oh, and we can also see some comparisons on the armor there. Interesting. Yeah, no, that is that is a pretty bad figure, if I do say so myself. Wow, my man really teared it to shreds. That's crazy. I can't believe he killed Bardock. <laughs> <laughs> all right moving on here um high quality scan of the sdbh guide gives us a clear look at the supposed secret rare of the goku and frieza from the turn of power you can see up there a little bit and i believe uh, i don't know if baggy posted the actual image for that later all right oh that is unfortunate so the boy um, Akubo <laughs> Teriyaki, there we go. He's also a well-known person in the Dragon Ball figure community. Um, has confirmed that apparently the legs are hollow on our boy. That unfortunate. Yeah, definitely not worth the price of what they're charging for it. I really, really wish it was because this is a really good figure, but if you can get them for cheaper, then. Chibi Masters data sheet confirming it is window box. We will also see an image of that later. So cautious since we haven't had a window box DB release in ages. Interesting, interesting. 
All right. DBZ historical characters released out now for Asia. Credit M Toys. I think that's everything now for November price stuff. Just feeding on the Chibi Masters releases now. Yeah, these figures are super cool. We've talked about these a bunch of times. Obviously, they reference uh, the side of the um, Dragon Ball manga. And as you can see here, uh, we also have the BSS, aka the Bampresto Special Selection um, UI DXF Special out now. This guy. Uh, was actually the very first mastered ultra instinct goku figure that we ever got um, i did not get it because i didn't think it was as good as it could be and we did get better uh, mastered ultra instinct goku figures after a while but i do think that it is always good to pay homage to the og and this figure is definitely not that bad all things considered i do love the way that they did goku's um ripped shirt and pants there it looks really good i might get it just for the legs <laughs> to be honest bro goku's got some real good looking legs there darn thought these were releasing in december guess we'll have to wait a little bit longer to see what they look like uh, especially that goku versus beerus yeah this is the January Shikishi art. He was just hoping that the, like, scans, I guess, or the higher quality images of these um, would be released a little bit sooner. Coming soon from GEA, Z Gohan, Vegeta <laughs> Times 2, and Master Roshi Pins. Pictures of none yet are the following. 18, Shinron, Shinron Head, Gotenks, DBS Piccolo, Golden Frieza, and Future Trunks. How do you make DBS Piccolo? interesting this vegeta looks so weird because it's like not as detailed as the rest of these very interesting i do like that gohan though not too bad his eyes look weird that they're kind of coming out of his skull <laughs> a little bit uh, but the master roshi pin definitely doesn't look too bad i think that's a pretty good look of him very interesting very interesting stuff there it is always interesting to see dragon ball pins because i think that the biggest people who make dragon ball pins at the moment are gea and um oh no i have a, like three of them what are they they come in the little clear plastic box oh no i can't think of what they're called right now i'm sorry it's escaping my mind but always very interesting to see uh second november wafer candy packaging is pure bu pure bu wow Pure Boo and Goku. I really want to get that Super Saiyan 3 Goku figure still. All right. Oh, yeah. This, uh, we will take a look at a little bit here. So, basically, this was the original promo art and the clear files from the Ichiban Kuji set that reused the art and made it a little bit better. Baggy was just saying how much better the art looks in the second versions. And wow, that is a crazy big difference if I do say so myself. Obviously, to the naked eye, it doesn't look like too much of a difference, but there's a bunch of things you can see. Goku's chin, his neck, right? The way that his hair looks. Even Gotenks' his face in the back looks a little bit better. Obviously, the eye is a huge thing here. The just overall shape of the face as well. The bounciness of the Super Saiyan hair. And a poof, I don't even have to tell you what that one is. <laughs> All right, moving on. All right, uh, so this one uh, was also just Baggy asking about these. We did take a look at these pins last time um, because they were kind of unknown where they were available. Um, this guy said he's seen them at his local Target. Interesting. All right, moving on. Oh, yeah, so this was pretty cool. Um, as you can see here, Limited Dragon Stars, a base Gogeta coming soon, featuring base recolor of the promo art as well so dragon stars is not only known um for their you know cheaper figures that are uh, pretty decent quality i'm gonna take a look at a couple dragon stars figures coming up on the channel because i've never actually reviewed one before but um they're also known for their fantastic promo art on the side of the box and it is very cool to see a release of a base gogeta because obviously base gogeta figures aren't as well not not as well made that's not what i meant to say not as many made there we go as obviously blue gogeta so very cool to see that he is getting a re-release dragon stars is an all right line again i'll give more of my thoughts on that video um but yeah cool to see that he's getting a base release and obviously nice that they recolored um the promo art interesting for japan releasing in december dbs mini towels seems like they've been on a huge towel fix since uh ichiban kuji towels have been doing pretty well recently very interesting all right interesting okay so the bss ui super warriors re-release of goku out of the box why are the us and europe getting this as a standard release instead of a 10th anniversary dragon ball heroes one oh instead of the dragon ball heroes one i see so he's not saying that like you know this would technically be considered a dragon ball heroes figure because that obviously doesn't make sense he's saying that instead of that figure the us and europe is getting this figure 
Kind of interesting. Yeah, definitely not a bad looking Goku figure. I think that his eyes are a little bit too far apart for my taste. We're not even going to comment on this whole mess right here. I've talked about them in another review that I did of that baby. Oh, we're just killing it today with these plugs. But no, he doesn't look too bad. Again, I really like the look um, of the pants on this figure, all things considered. Moving on up, though, we have this. Wow, that is actually pretty crazy. That was two years ago. But 10th anniversary Goku's final out of the box. Obviously, this is from this video here. Also knew that the base wouldn't be clear like the promo image last week, which I didn't comment on it. Yeah, so as you can see here, um, this base was clear. And as you can see here, this is black. Kind of unfortunate because obviously um, we love ourselves in clear bases when it comes to Dragon Ball figures. We definitely don't get them enough. And... Black bases are just kind of lame. <laughs> but it's always cool to get clear bases. Some of the Ichiban Kuji figures have them. All right. Ooh, okay. So this is a good thing here. So the Rasuden Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan Goku is expected uh, just as awful as the UI version, except for the improvement of the neck. Also, I find it hilarious how the lower half has a significant damage and the top half has minor rips. Hair reuse the same as the Maximatic Goku 2. So as you can see, this is another one of these Rasuden Gokus. Um, it is literally the same figure, just retooled a little bit to be Super Saiyan Blue. Um, you can see, obviously, the difference here as noted by baggy and here the face is as delicate as last time keep in mind this is a little bit of botched google translations the facial expression is dead thank you google the reason why he's dead is that the face is not well shaped amen google amen uh last time i had a very thin neck but that has improved so as you can see the neck was pretty thin here and then it's a little bit bigger there isn't this a step forward general comment the quality is low yeah 100% crazy. And the Maximatic Goku, by the way, was another UI uh, Goku, so they just reused the hair from that. Crazy. Very crazy. Very, very crazy. All right. While we wait for the Chibi Masters to release, here's some high-quality production images. Yeah, I definitely want to get that Vegeta at some point. I might actually get this whole set. I don't know. I've thought about getting it for a while. It'd be really fun. This is a brand-new Dragon Ball minifigure set, and we haven't had a brand-new Dragon Ball minifigure line in a little bit now. So, Here is some final images of Trunks, especially compared to his Dragon Ball Heroes card. Um, I think that the sculpting is really, really good on the figure overall. And the face is not that bad. I would have liked a little bit of thicker eyebrows, if I'm being honest, especially considering that the original um, card also does have a little bit of thicker eyebrows um, here, just to kind of, you know, emphasize them. Um, his eyes do look a little bit weird, I will say, but definitely not too, too bad. Isn't the worst I've seen. Ah, I hate it when they do this. They do this on every Trunks figure. They always put this little cover so that you can't put the sword in there, which makes no sense because they could just leave it hollow. And I guess it's supposed to make the back thing more stable. Why am I looking at this image again? There we go. But overall, very good sculpting, I think. I still think the face is a little bit weird, but not too bad. This was also a pretty cool thread. Baggy was just comparing some cards here um, that may or may not be inspired by figures or vice versa. Um, but definitely pretty, pretty close, all things considered. This one I feel like is, uh, <laughs> apart from the hand being up higher, this one's close also. Yeah, this one is definitely very, very close. Always cool to see the poses and other things, though, too. Um, early listings for Broly on Friday between 10k and 12k with some sold listings. I still don't understand why fans... Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't know. There is a lot of uh, figures like this going for pretty overpriced prices online. Um, it seems like people are willing to pay just about anything. Tried something different with the, the different reveals this month. Okay, so this was actually super crazy. So I believe this whole thread was, yes, this tweet right here. This is the April Fry Fries figures. Yeah, bro. Fries Electronics. <laughs> the April Fries figures, production images. We've been looking forward to some of these figures for a little while now. And uh, some of these look really good. Not this one, though. <laughs> Why they're doing GT Trunks, I have no idea, because GT has not been doing well at all in this figure sphere as of recently. Kind of odd. I don't know why. Maximatic line is uh, also, or Ultimate Soldier's line, rather, is really good. I was going to say the Maximatic line is kind of eh, but this is Ultimate Soldier. Sorry, I was reading something from the sidebar there. Nonetheless, though, the Super Saiyan Trunks, I think, looks really good. I do like the look of the base form one, but I do think I like the Super Saiyan look a little bit better. This design for Trunks overall isn't bad, but GT just isn't popular enough, I feel like, to be making characters, or making characters, making figures, rather, of characters who aren't Goku. 
<laughs> which is kind of unfortunate, but hey. Here is the G&G &G Android 18 number 3, as you can see, the Glitter and Glams 18. Honestly, this figure isn't too bad. This is actually an Android 18 figure that for once I think I would consider getting because it's not overly done on the proportion, the, the proportions? I literally cannot speak today. Holy cow, the proportions like Dragon Ball Gals. Not bad, though. I do like this outfit, I think, a little bit better just in terms of the color. I think it's a little bit more anime accurate. And then we also have... <laughs> so as you can see, obviously, Super Saiyan Goku. Uh, we've known about him for a while. We've been talking about him for a couple videos. But this is the new Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta figure. And there is actually something very special about the Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta figure that we will look at a little bit in Baggy's tweets here. But I think it looks really, really good. It's sculpted by the boy Nakazawa. Um, it is an FES figure, so of course the sculpting is going to be really good. I am excited for it. I'm excited for more pictures of it. And Maximatic Goku up there looking kind of stinky. We'll take a look at him in a little bit more detail later. But the GX Venturi Goku Black looks so good. Oh, oh my gosh. <sighs> Holy cow, bro. Wow. That is good. They did a really good job with it. Let's look at a little bit more cleaner pictures as you can see here. There's the two trunks and there's Goku Black. I just want to note, holy cow, this Goku Black figure looks absolutely fantastic. This expression is perfect for Goku Black. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It is really good. And it is so cool to see that they actually took the detail of the scythe being purple because a lot of people depict the scythe as being a little bit more pink but unless my memory is failing me there are a lot of scenes in the anime where it's depicted in this little bit more of a purplish color so oh my gosh it looks so good so good the hair is kind of average i will say this like little these like more lines throughout the hair is not something i'm the biggest fan of i don't really mind it but i do kind of prefer the simpler look of the hair not bad though, and I really, really love this little extra hair tuft because obviously, you know, it's Goku's too. Um, and the detail overall is great. I love the shading of the rose colors. They always do a good job with added figures. Instead of making this like black or just gray, like how it would be on regular Goku Black, they give it some pink shading, which looks really, really good. Oh man, I am so excited for this figure. <laughs> I cannot wait to crack into this guy. This angle, I will say, does look a little bit odd, but it doesn't look too bad because, I mean, Goku Black is just supposed to look crazed. <laughs> so, you know, it looks good for him, I think. Cool to see that the Potara is flowing to the side. Uh, some more look at the detail on the overall outfit. And, as you can see, there is some sparkles in here, which is good because, obviously, the GX materials are kind of known for having a little bit of sparkly in their effects. Of course, the GX material line, if you're not familiar, is known for for having um, characters that actually have like their key blast attacks in there and I guess in this case well scythe based attack also really cool to see that they actually remember the jagged edges instead of just making it one clean shape uh, that is like how they did it with the I almost keep saying WCF instead of world figure Coliseum which is um, WFC that figure is good I like that figure a lot but the scythe on this one I feel like just knocks it out of the park oh man so excited for that figure <laughs> i literally can't get over it bro it's so good and this is uh well interesting this is the maximatic omen goku funny enough i was just talking about how i'm not really the biggest fan of the maximatic line i actually haven't even bought any of the figures because i'm really that not much of a fan of it i will say goku's arm looks really good and i do like the deeper v cut but this is so awkward because not only does the face Look pretty weird, I think. It's also just weird seeing Goku with the top half of his gi. Like, that doesn't look like Goku, bro. That looks like another character. His mouth looks really weird. His eyes look a little bit too big. Goku in UI, Omen, has never been displayed with this outfit with the top half on there. I think maybe except for Heroes. But even then, I don't think that he had that particular logo on his gi. Unless I'm just remembering incorrectly. But it still looks really awkward. And even the faces on the figure just look really awkward, all things considered. I said it again. I don't know why. I mean, I guess at least it applied that time. But yeah, kind of weird. I'm not sure how I feel about this guy. I'll have to see some more final images to give you my final thoughts. But, 
Oh, Papa is excited. Oh my gosh. Uh, I will also, by the way, be keeping a look out for all of these figures on Amazon US. Um, I do have another figure account if you guys aren't aware. Uh, we're actually do post about here. I can show you actually right here. Um, as you can see, Dragon Ball figure deals is just at DB figure deals. I'll leave a link to that in the description. I don't use it too often. Whenever I find a figure sale, I'll usually post that on there. Um, and whenever there's new figures listed. All right. So interesting. Interesting. Um, this looks to be FES 12 Super Saiyan Goku versus the Super Saiyan um, or the FES 13 Goku versus the FES 12 Goku. There we go. Thank you, Brain. Wow. The difference in the colors is crazy. Obviously, the 13 version is much closer to the manga colors, whereas the 12 version is much closer to the anime colors. I will honestly probably open up both of these guys. Maybe I'll save them for one video and then compare them, and maybe I'll give away the manga version or something like that, or maybe I'll sell it, I don't know. Because I really, really like these anime version, or the anime version. Wow, I literally pointed to this one and said anime version. My brain is failing me. I'm sorry. It's 1 a.m when I'm recording this video <laughs> but I really like the manga colors um, obviously like I was saying with the last one I catch Goku I tend to like the little bit of a lighter orange better than the darker orange so yeah very very excited I like that lighter blue as well so kind of unfortunate that I already pre-ordered this man but hey what are you gonna do I suppose very very cool though um, to see that they did update the colors with this guy I don't think we've ever had an FES figure though that literally it gets re-released the FES right after the one that just had it kind of interesting kind of interesting uh march kuji estimated packaging for a b c and d as you can see it is 23 centimeters by 20 by 13 uh not too bad not too bad all right may prize figures won't be revealed until mid january so long wait usually some may figures are shown off at the november prize fair so the wait normally isn't that bad but of course there is no prize figure or no prize figure no prize fair this year so we'll see if they do end up doing something instead of the prize fair this year i don't think that they have announced anything um as far as i know anyway but It'll be interesting. It'll be very interesting to see what becomes of that. All right, so this was also a very interesting uh, meme Marino here. So they're re-releasing the special color versions again. Uh, or they're re-releasing this. Yeah, the special color versions again of the time of with time of the special move Gogeta 2 in Japan in January. While the overseas should be getting the regular versions, should have got these versions at least. Also, 100 people in Japan could win the special all-metallic version. So, this is getting a re-release, as you can see, with more metallic hair, is basically what this is. Um, they made a bunch of these special move Gogetas before. I don't think that they look necessarily the best. Um, they're not bad. Also, it's kind of weird that they made this one the orange jacket for Super Saiyan. It seems like they're really trying to hit that Janemba movie audience, even though this is Dragon Ball Super Gogeta, which is kind of weird. But I do really like the metallic on the shoulder pieces here. It's a lot better than trying to like the, make the black hair metallic because... Oh boy, I have seen them try and do uh, metallic hair on black hair before and it doesn't look as good. So that is a great alternative to that. And as you can see here, apparently 100 people in Japan are going to be getting this all metallic version of Gogeta Blue. I would absolutely love to own that. I don't think I could, considering apparently there's only going to be 100 of them. Why is it that I always want the rarest version of the figure? What is wrong with my ape brain? Um, but as you can see here, they do look a little bit different in terms of the face sculpt. Unless it's just the angle that they took it at. But it definitely looks a little bit different. Definitely looks like there's a little bit more detail on the lines on this one. Interesting. I don't know why I like that so much. Why do I like the shiny, bro? My brain is literally monkey. I'm like, ooh, ooh, shiny. Overseas release of the uh, Resolution of Soldiers Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. This is actually a really, really good Super Saiyan 2 Gohan figure. I might eventually try and pick up the entire Resolution of Soldiers line. So, by the way, if you are a little bit confused by that naming convention, um, Grandista technically also falls under the Resolution of Soldiers line. It's a little bit weird. So, the Resolution of Soldier line was a little bit of an older Dragon Ball figure prize figure line. And 
Grandista adopted the name of Resolution of Soldiers, but the original Resolution of Soldiers line is a lot smaller than Grandista, but the Resolution of Soldiers line did get a ton of characters that are definitely underrepresented in Dragon Ball figures nowadays. And this Gohan is honestly a pretty good rendition of Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. I might end up picking this guy up again. I would love to be able to get all of the Resolution of Soldiers figures at some point. They are kind of old now. Big Bad Toy Store has started listing pre-orders for April and have noted that this Gohan is not 100% wait for this Gohan that is not 100% set to release and pre-orders could be cancelled so it probably means it's likely a BSS for Asia which is what we were looking at before with the Bam Presto Special Selection. I'm confused why the Super Saiyan Goku is being used a month later for FES 13 when Vegito could have been recolored to blue. Wouldn't two blue fusions make more sense? As a result, it means we will have Vegito blue hanging over us for a future FES. One of the fusions out of the way. I can understand that. To be fair, we do have a lot of fusion uh, figures at this point. But that is kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they, they did it right one right after the another. But nonetheless, though... Glad that they did. <laughs> I believe that there is also a picture later. Where is that picture? If I can't find it here, um, I will find it for you. I'll scroll through and find it of the comparison of the Gogeta. All right, so as you can see here, here is the Goku in his natural habitat in the actual crane machine. As you can see, um, these are the boys compared together. Kind of funny that they did inverted colors for the box. Very interesting, and obviously there's an ad for the different Gogetas. I really want that metallic one, man. Oh, why am I such a monkey brain? Anyway, as you can see, packaging, very basic. Very basic indeed. Yeah, this guy asked where to buy. You're going to have to wait for the listings to pop up on eBay. Uh, these aren't releasing in the West at all, but thankfully 400 stores, so in about a month, listings shouldn't be too much. Give it until then. I'll have to take a look if I can see if I can find some as well. And here are some high quality pictures of the Goku and Gohan gigantic series figure. Again, these guys look really, really good. Goku's arm does look a little bit weird there, but I think that this figure looks pretty good. Um, I love the back too. It's always good when they do back detail on figures because sometimes they forget to do that. Gohan looks so perfect, bro. <laughs> He's so adorable here. This will probably be literally the only gigantic series figure that I get. I'm not even capping, bro. All right. March UDM 46 lineup. Gogeta, Zeno, Kyle, Ken, Super Saiyan, Rose, Goku, Black, Super Saiyan, Blue, Goku, Zarbon, and Full Power Android 13. I guess that makes sense since Android 13 was in the last one. Very interesting. I'll be curious to see how they do Kaioken Xeno Gogeta. Huh. Interesting. I wonder if that will be Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan 4. That will be very interesting to see as well. All right. So, as you can see, here are the higher quality production images of these guys. Holy cow. They all look fantastic. Again, I love the manga calling for Goku. Goku Black looks so good. And so does the Gogeta. No updated production images for uh, DB. Again, looks like I really want to see how the OB belt is sculpted on Gogeta. Ah, oh, yeah, this was pretty big for UK folks. I know that this, unfortunately, uh, is already sold out now. But uh, Forbidden Planet reduced the Super Master Stars Peace Goku to 29 euros pre postage. That is actually a crazy good deal for this figure. I do believe I have this figure pre-ordered somewhere. So hopefully I'll get to review it eventually because it's like my favorite Dragon Ball figure ever. <laughs> All right, yeah. So this is very good to note. Details are on show here. I'm glad that Baggy posted these more close-up pictures. Look at the detail. That is insane. Look at all the little lines on the coat and on the skin. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look at all the battle damage on Goku there. It is like perfect, bro. Holy cow. All of these lines are so good. <laughs> All these lines are so good. This is literally like FES is one of my favorite Dragon Ball lines of all time. GX Materia is one of my more recent favorite lines. Oh man, man! If they release a new Grandista figure and a new World Figure Coliseum with all these guys, bro, that would be just everything all in one. Yeah. So here's Baggy talking about the UI Omen Goku. Not even based off the manga since it has the kanji. Yes, so I was correct. It doesn't have the kanji when he has the top piece. Since I know full UI, uh, full Gi UI Omen appeared in the ED, but this seems like a bit of a stretch. Doesn't feel right at all. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. I don't know why they put it there. Kind of weird. Maximatic line is already uh, super disappointingly bad, but this Omen is even more shocking by the low standards of this line. Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. Literally, the only one that looks good, in my opinion, is... Um, the base form Goku and Super Saiyan God a little bit, a little bit. This guy's very basic, and these two, 
Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> that is funny, though. They do look pretty cool in that arrangement, I guess. All right, moving on from UI Goku. So here, as you can see, here is a unboxing video of the BOS and the 10th anniversary Goku and a comparison between two. Very interesting. Obviously, the pose is super similar and literally probably just nabbed from this figure. They look extremely similar, so I wouldn't be surprised and they kind of just flipped it. This is also a very good figure, this BOS uh, Goku. I want to get that guy at some point, too. But they do look pretty cool together. I do think it would probably look a little bit better with Mastered Ultra and Goku, but I don't know. Putting this into perspective, one recently sold in Japan for 130 euros and 18k. Wow, that was an absolute bargain for that. Obviously, this is the black and white version, but still, that's crazy. <laughs> Bam Presto, uh, World Figure Coliseum, Super Master Stars piece went up for pre-order exactly a year ago on the 26th, and it's still not released everywhere yet. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. This is obviously this Goku, right? It still hasn't released everywhere. Insane. And people have been waiting for that figure for a long time. So have I. <laughs> Overseas release have just got more complicated. All right. Oh my. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so uh, these are some mini figures, as you can see. Still no Blue Evolution official release, and he's just clowning that, you know, these are more UI figures, and this Vegito doesn't look, I guess, that bad. But. Huh. Moving on. <laughs> as you can see, we do have some info here. Prize figures released uh, in December, the GX Materia Gotenks with the little ghost beside him, the GT World... <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I can't help but laughing at it. Why are they still making GT stuff? I know that's terrible. Why, bro? The GT doesn't do that well. I know. I, I'm sure that they just needed to get it out of the way because they're making like every Dragon Ball saga with WCF, but oh my gosh, bro. I just can't help, can't help but laugh at it. And the Toro Druid. Parent and child Kamehameha. Yeah, this was um, originally based on an illustration by Toyotaro. We took a look at this figure in a news video a fat minute ago. I am getting these guys, by the way, at some point. Uh, December prize figure, Japanese releases in weeks and dates. Okay, so. And then we also have these, um, which is the Dragon Ball Item Collection Volume 1. I don't know why that they didn't do something like this sooner, because this is a super smart idea to do, like, different items and locations from Dragon Ball. It'll be kind of weird to have, like, this as big as this, though. I don't know. I do like these, though, because this could be a really cute, like, mini set for, like, a playhouse or something like that if you wanted to do that. Or even if you just wanted to take some pictures with it. All right, moving on up. Uh, next FES 14 confirmed for May. We'll post the lineup in a bit. Unfortunately, no information on the next G&G &G and the GX Materia. All right, so May FES 14 lineup, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Vegito, and Base Goku. EOZ, just my guess, that a bit is not confirmed. Source, uh, same one that was right about the FES 12 and GX Materia Goku Black. Okay, so take it with a grain of salt. But... It would make sense, obviously, considering that we have had this uh, Vegito for a little bit now, and obviously he'll probably get a blue version at some point. It would be really cool to see more Goku in this outfit. I would love that a lot, actually. All right. March UDM Burst 46 uh, LQ image. As you can see, um, it did turn out that, let me see, that this is Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and then obviously Rose, Basic E for Goku, Zarbon, and 13. Okay, I believe we have a higher quality of this image later. All right, so, yeah, here we go. So this is why Baggy was complaining, bro. French? French, wow. Uh, oh, I guess that is does say French. I meant to say France, but I guess I didn't read that wrong. French, Belgium, and German distributors have listed April figures, and none of them listed the GG18, so that probably means using a release in Europe. This is so, so stupid. Yeah, I can agree with that, bro. That is, uh, that is quite weird. I don't know why. Yeah, there you go. That, uh, that also that. I can't, you know, say that, but just read it. <laughs> just want to give the information. All right. That is, wow. Holy cow. I didn't even realize Goku Black had the site. That is super sick. Obviously, that Super Saiyan 4 Goji doesn't look too bad, but the image is pretty low quality. I would love to get that. That is a fantastic UDM figure. Wow, okay. Out now from SD Toys. DB and Z projector pens. Interesting. So these, like, project a little image on your wall. Huh. 
interesting pretty cool all right so here we have some more uh posters of the upcoming figures as you can see this is the goku black um they're noting some things about the scythe there wow this guy looks really good these promotional posters always kind of seem a little bit tacky to me because i could literally make this in photoshop right now but nonetheless though they're still pretty good this is a very simplistic poster but i think it looks well for um this figure and obviously this is the glitter and glamorous line i don't have too many of these figures um but the 18 does look pretty good maximatic goku uh-oh stinky <laughs> and uh here's the gg trunks why did they choose green that literally looks like a bad dokkan background so weird interesting interesting nonetheless though as you can see um we do have the release dates for all of these boys on the screen oh man i'm excited for that goku black i'm literally gonna have to go pre-order that <laughs> here you go uh this is the poster for the fes goku and gogeta yeah and then this also says that fes 14 will be super saiyan gavajito and goku interesting interesting Here's some updated production images of the 18. Definitely not a bad looking figure. Wow, the hair sculpt on that is really good. Holy cow. That's cool. And we are officially done with all the merch information this week. Uh, sad, <laughs> sad it was going to be hectic. Unless there is an April Kuji, which is unlikely. December is going to be a quiet month. Much needed, I say. Yeah, considering we got all this. Colors on this is just amazing. Yeah, so here's some updated production images of this Goku. It looks absolutely fantastic. I am 100% going to pick up this figure. And I already have the other version of a pre-ordered. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't even know what else to say, bro. It's just like, it's so good. What do I even say more? <laughs> it's just so good. Yeah, the colors really are amazing. Ah, okay. So this is another two I wanted to take a look at as well. 18 has definitely been a surprise of the week for sure. The GG line has slowly been improving. The new 18 is just perfect. This is how females characters should be done going forward. I can agree with that. Also, the new one will appear to a lot more fans as a result too. 100%. Because obviously the intention of these 18s are definitely a lot more devious than the intention of, well, I mean, this makes her just look like a normal person. I was going to say human being, but I guess technically she's an android. Yeah, also compared to the last 18, I find the first one not really good. Really, really happy about this one, especially when you know the last figure of her in the suit is rather, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen, Baggy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to like that tweet, bro. Listen, bro, you know when me and Baggy agree on an opinion on something? Like, overall, I think our figure opinion opinions are, are pretty similar but obviously you know baggy's known for having some takes bro and i kind of clown on him a little bit in this video so i know he doesn't really mind it me and baggy chat a little bit but bro when, when we say amen on an opinion we say amen and on an opinion amen bro <laughs> All right, putting this recent numbers into perspective, here's some numbers last year, like 155 was considering low back then, but now in these recent months it would be great. And obviously, he's just talking about the numbers of the case orders um, of these different figures here. All right, so these December DBS game stations, who surprises getting revealed tomorrow? Hopefully, the mini vinyl figures are similar to how the WCFs are and not like the ones we had before. Um, obviously, he's talking about what's lifted here, er, lifted here, listed here, and here is all of the prizes. So obviously, these little mini figures come from this. Um, I don't think they really look that good. Pokemon does a similar line to these, and they look so much better in my opinion. Literally, I'm looking at a Mewtwo on my desk. These mini Dragon Balls are not terrible. Cool that they're clear and acrylic, but we'll have to see if they are uh, well, up to snuff. Definitely not worth it to pay an overpriced to uh, import these, though, especially these. Um, these, though, I will say are not the worst. Um, they could have definitely been a little bit more cool. But it is always nice to see lunchboxes. I don't know. Maybe this is more of an American thing. But lunchboxes are kind of a popular merch item. At least they used to be. And they're kind of sort of retro, I guess. Though I will say, I can definitely agree with Baggy on the fact that... Uh, well, I assume he's also kind of clowning on the art a little bit. Because the art doesn't look the best. The Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku doesn't look that bad. But kind of a shame that they just like... You know use the same art on the other side like this is the same lunchbox here with the goku and vegeta because you can see that it's flipped by where the tab where you would close it is placed and this is literally just the same art flipped and like they scrunch the text and that doesn't really help like it, it doesn't make it look any better honestly i don't think i'd go out of my way to import this but if i saw this for cheap i'd definitely pick it up because it's a pretty decent piece i like the mastered ultra instinct goku but yeah i don't know kind of weird also why did they choose revival of f Interesting. Hmm. 
All right, moving on. Some wafer candies out of the box. Yeah, don't look too bad. Obviously, the wafer candies um, are, um, you know, kind of reminiscent of the um, the UDMs, whereas they kind of look a little bit weird. But that's sort of their style, right? Vegito's teeth are super indented there. Interesting. Me, all right. December prize figure overseas releases. Reminder, exclusive Nero Omen Goku. Standard re-releases, the original Legends collab. Grandista Gohan. Z historical characters sell in Boo RWCF. Interesting. So, Omen Goku, all of these guys. This is a fantastic figure, by the way. I highly recommend picking this up. And this is also a good Goku. All of these figures from the historical line and the Kid Goku. This, in addition to the new prize figures in Japan, are getting with the exemption of the item collection, which is releasing in selected countries. All right. Cool, cool. Sega store numbers. Oh, boy. By the way. When you hear Sega, yes, that is the same Sega as, like, Sonic Sega. It's just Sega owns a lot of the places where you can get these prize figures out of the actual claw machines. <laughs> that is so funny. Wow, GT got one. That's crazy, bro. 35 Gotenks, 25 the item collection, 55 Goku, and 55 Bardock. Thank God that they made that equal. That would have been terrible. DB is at all incredibly low. Yikes, Bardock doesn't commercialize well. This is not a surprise. Was hoping Gotenks would have done better. Oh, well, yeah. Definitely would have hoped that Gotenks would have done better as well. Oh, well. Yeah, there you go. This is what I was talking about, bro, in terms of uh, GT not doing so well. Sega's numbers. Volume 2, 30 or something. Volume 3, 5. One for volume four. That is an F in the chat for GT. The fact that GT WCFs, uh, all four of them got beat massively to a single set that contained not one, but two OC characters is absolutely hilarious. GT is known as a franchise. Goroshi for a reason, yeah. Talking about the um, Legends WCF. I mean, to be fair, Legends is super popular and obviously you know you have some like basic characters like these two these two don't get figures as often and obviously these are the only god figures that exist of these two so looks like there's a late solicitation for 18 in europe bizarre uh though she has a different product code interesting very interesting oh yeah okay so these i was actually very excited to take a look at well i'll show you this image just so we can show it and then i'll show you this image because it's a little bit of a better look oh, actually i kind of like the other one better i'm going to be honest because it's a little bit brighter so here is the clear window packaging that we are looking at the chibi masters i really really like this packaging actually um it's really good i don't think that the promo artist is too bad there's definitely worse db promo artists it kind of reminds me of the xenoverse cover with the, like the one side of goku's face that's shaded and then everybody makes edits of that into different forms of goku but i really like these honestly even though the box is really big considering the figure's size i think it looks nice and all of these look really good as a display piece especially if you're able to keep them in the box like that i'm not sure if it's a clamshell because it kind of looks like the figures are like standing and they're like there's nothing really around them in the box like they're held up by their feet in their head interesting though i like the packaging on these a lot though i might go ahead and pick these up if i can't find them somewhere uh goku the smaller figure has the bigger base makes sense obviously i didn't even notice that wow goku's base is disgustingly huge especially considering gogeta's size interesting looks like broly's base market value has dropped now below 5k in japan ydb is still getting these figures i have no idea um interest just isn't there we have no we have so many ended lines etc yeah that is true to be fair that is sort of the unfortunate thing about dragon ball heroes is that um obviously a lot of their lines kind of get cut but akuji occasionally i don't think it's necessarily a bad thing all right blow it out of your hair both of these guys in stock for 13 each pre-shipping and taxes wow that's crazy. Yo, Loki? <sighs> I might cancel my pre-order and get it from there. Shoot. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. These guys obviously look good. I'll be reviewing these guys too. I ordered them before. Um, that is a really good price considering that they can be 20 bucks a pop. All right. So, should be getting more angles of the FES Gogeta soon. Uh, let's see. So, how have we gone from Broly Movie Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, UDM, to boring regular D Goku? Wouldn't mind Super Saiyan Goku much uh, if it was from the Broly Movie. Yeah, that is true. Like, this is super cool. Obviously, we love the blue shirt on blue Goku. And it's weird that they just went back to the normal. I don't know, man. Kind of stinks. Also, the, uh, the hair there, very spiky compared to this one. I mean, I guess that is super spiky too, but like, I don't know. Kind of weird that they went back to the normal gi because I feel like it's not as appetizing to people anymore. 
April 18, leading the way in pre-orders overseas, it looks like. Absolutely expected. Just thought uh, if you would, if, I thought if you would make a female figure that isn't ridiculous, it would appeal to more people. Expecting this to get most pre-orders in Japan, especially, too, with how well the Q Pasaket did. I still don't know how to pronounce the name of the line. Yeah! Look at that! When they don't make the figure... I don't want to say the word, because Susan will hit me with that Hakai. When they don't make the figure looking like, you know, proportions overdone... It sells well. Look at that. Ain't that crazy? I hope some of the shading on the front is completely removed on the final. The back coloring is literally perfect. Uh, this isn't the first time I prefer minimal shading on the backs of figures before. Yeah, to be fair, uh, most of the time we love to see some shading on figures. But I do think with this figure, especially considering it's more based on the manga colors, I think that it would work a little bit less. Um, or it would work a little bit better with less shading is what I meant to say. Um, which is why I also think that there is a really old Super Saiyan Goku figure that I have. And it's one of my favorite figures. I don't even remember how I got it. That's uh, based off of the um, Shonen Jump cover of a Goku flying forward. And that figure has like no shading. <laughs> Flip me. How did uh, Namco go from 201 to 0 BOS for old Gogeta in the space of a year? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. HQ picks of the all metallic Gogeta blue too bad the second modeling is bad this would have been decent on the original one yeah that would have been cool again like I said the modeling of this figure is not necessarily my favorite I like the metallic though bro it's very cool oh that's cool we have a chibi and then a regular version nice I actually didn't realize uh, there was a wafer of this scene until it showed up in the votes. Yeah, that's funny. Last day to vote on the wafer stickers. Don't let Proly or any other stickers win. Come on, we got this. Yeah, so ba Baggy is obviously just voting for some characters that haven't gotten that much representation before, um, which I can understand. See, no Goku is my boy, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> this was also a very cool tweet to see. Dragon Ball figures are absolutely decimating the game right now. Dragon Ball Super Figurine range is experiencing an outstanding success in the UK. As a consequence, Bandai UK is pushing the range in retail. Window display will now be implemented at Forbidden Planet Hobby Store in Scotland for the Christmas period. The range is also pushed in Spain, where gift with purchase operations will be organized at the end of the year at El Corte Inglés and uh, Juegue Otos. I probably butcher that. I'm so sorry. The same will be done in France at Pickwick Toys. Interesting. And that is finally everything that we have for you today. There is one more thing that I actually did want to note because I know Baggy tweeted it somewhere and I'll go find it as I'm scrolling through here. Thank you guys so, so much for watching though. Um, this was a, another great figure news video in the books. Ah, here we go. This is what I wanted to show you. Um, we'll actually scroll through a little bit while I'm talking here just to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Hope you guys enjoyed. As per usual, again, I do do these figure news videos um, every two weeks. Obviously, that's why they're always so long, because I just kind of round up everything that has come out in that time. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy them. It seems like you guys really do. Um, I get comments about them all the time, so I'm glad that you guys enjoy them. And I know some of you guys enjoy a lot of my longer form content. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I actually wanted to show you uh, now that I have gotten all of that out of the way. Basically, this Gogeta figure right here. There we go. <laughs> this Gogeta figure right here is based off of the Shintani one, which is really cool. Um, obviously, the angle is a little bit more dynamic in this one because, of course, well, it's a piece of art. They're not going to make his hand giant and his face at this odd angle for this, right? And obviously, it's very hard. And also, his knee is really huge here, but it makes sense because, you know, it's supposed to be this very dynamic shot. But it's interesting. It is very interesting to see. I wonder um, why they didn't do this figure sooner. Because it's a pretty iconic pose for Gogeta, I believe. I mean, this was on a V-Jump cover too. I know it was on some other promotional art as well. It'll be interesting to see some other angles of this guy as well to see how the face looks. So yeah, very cool. Just wanted to end on this image because it's awesome that they're actually referencing some art and making it 3D. <laughs> very nice. Anyway, though... That is going to do it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought of all of this figure news in the comment section below as per usual. Let me know what figures you're going to take a look at and try and get pre-ordered and stuff like that. I'm literally going to go pre-order that Goku right now. <laughs> I will catch you guys in the next one. Del Kanasa's out. Peace.